Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. This is part 36. Last time, as you can see, I said I was going to finish the wall, and I did. And I am really happy with it turned out, by the way, or how it turned out, but that is a temporary door that's not going to stay. Anyways, I am really happy with how this turned out. It ends up, or ended up, actually look just... I, w I was a bit worried about how it was going to look, because... Whenever I got to, like, the corner area, I was like, uh, this isn't really working. And then I tried a few different things, and then finally, this is the final result. So, yeah. Uh, last time we also talked about what I did on vacation. Don't know why I felt like including that, but I did. <laughs> uh, anyways, this episode, I'm thinking we're actually going to get started on the insides. We could start working on the door. But I can literally do that at any time, and it'll probably just be me adding an arch and then like maybe some like fence gates or something. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a barn and then start actually adding in animals and stuff. I'm trying to figure out what would be a good placement for this. I don't want it to be too centralized, so I'm definitely not going to put it here. But I'm not sure if I want it to be that long, and it might not be wide enough. Now it's too wide and not long enough. Huh. I'm thinking this is probably the best we're gonna get. Uh, it looks kind of weird. Huh. Maybe I don't want to build a traditional barn like this. It just looks weird. <laughs> Which means I have successfully wasted 15 minutes trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to build back up my little doorway that I had. Then, here's the slight difference. From here, instead of going further up, I'm going to have a, a log going across like this. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with a simple barn. Seems like it'd be one of the easiest things you could possibly build. So there we go, we have this. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to have uh, basically just a roof on it, which means I need a lot of stairs. Well, uh, should I put the roof on now or... Eh. Maybe I'll put in some of the walls now, just so I have some idea of what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll put in the walls now, and I'll cut out windows whenever I get to there. I don't know why I never bring proper scaffolding. Okay, shift just didn't work there. Just walk right off the edge. Alright, I'm slowly starting to get some idea of what I'm doing. Took long enough. Uh, how does that look? Um, a little weird. Maybe it would help if I actually had the whole thing done, but... And also if I didn't have the line in the front. Maybe it needs to hang off a little farther. Yeah, that already made an improvement. Placing in stairs has to be the most tedious thing you can possibly do in this game. Actually, never mind, that's definitely a lie. <laughs> Villager moving would probably have to take that spot. Alright, stairs are in. Now you may be thinking, alright, we have a little triangle looking roof thing. Not too impressive yet. Well, don't worry, I have a plan. But before I do that, I should probably actually put in the other wall. Kind of forgot to do that. There we go, now we have some of the walls in. Not sure what's going on up there, but <laughs> we have most of the walls in. And I'm going to add another little structure over here. Should we make it three or four out? Let's make it three out. So then what we're going to do is actually first I'm going to go make some slabs because I'm adding a little overhang to the side of it. There we go, and how does that look? Um, yeah, that looks good. Maybe want to move it over one block? Nah, that's fine where it is. So now that we have the exterior semi-built, I guess it's time to start on the interior. So what I want to do is I want to have a top layer, 
and a bottom layer. That was probably the worst description I possibly could have given. So now that I actually have this semi-constructed, I can kind of give you a layout of what I'm trying to do. So all of these areas will be like chicken stalls and stuff and just, yeah, chicken related things probably. Just, I don't know why I keep going back to chickens, but just animal stalls, that's what they're meant to be. And then in the middle here, or maybe on one of these, yeah, probably just on these, I'll have ladders that go up onto the top floor, and up there I'll have like a hay storage area with maybe like a couple windows. Now, one little problem I do have is I really like the look of these windows, but I'm not sure how I'll keep animals in if I have the windows like this. These don't technically have to be functional stalls. I mean, this place isn't exactly going to be, like, the big place that stores every single animal. The animals are just going to be roaming free, and then the barn is kind of decorative, so maybe I don't have to worry about actually storing the animals. I just want to make it look good. <laughs> So, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I definitely need a window here. I'm not sure how I want to make it. I feel like I've said that about literally everything I've done this episode. Uh, <laughs> that, that's, that's not centered. Not even close. Uh, maybe a triangle window is a bad idea. That's maybe a little better. I feel like that window is just too big. <laughs> it just looks like someone with really long teeth. Uh, yeah, that works. There's still a couple things that I want to do with this. Like, I want to add, obviously, hay and storage up at the top. Uh, over here, I want to add, like, some water troughs, maybe a little feeding area, and I want to add that in all the stalls as well. Uh, and also, on the inside of the barn, I imagine that it would be walked around in a lot. And there's not much light in here, so I imagine it wouldn't have grass, so I probably want to add some coarse dirt and maybe some gravel, maybe some regular dirt mixed in, stuff like that, just to make it look nice. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed, and I, I just thought of something. I like how the aquatic update came out, and what's the first thing that I do? I go and build in the nether. Alright, I'm done building in the nether. What do I do next? I build in the desert. The two farthest places from the ocean that I could possibly go to. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.